Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 on problem 1 demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCAM for generation of GNDM codes for step turning profile. That is we are showing a demo. I am showing you a demo on CNC step turning video tutorial using EdgeCAM. In fact, I have already done this problem in session 1. In this session 2, I will be showing you the final aspects of EdgeCAM. That means some of the other features, what is important from learning perspective. Okay, that is from the point of learning perspective, I am showing you some of the other features of EdgeCAM. Now, as you, as you see here, this is the profile and all that. We have done all this. Okay, and as you know here, okay, these are all the, the for this uh, profile and all that with common origin. That is from the absolute units. I have done all this. Okay, and also you know very well, this is made up of both rough turning as well as finished turning. On rough turning, actually after rough turning, this will be 31, this will be 61, this will be 91. Okay, because 0.5 mm alliance will be left at. Okay, and 0.5 here, 0.5 here, totally amounting to 91. This will be 61, this will be 31. And on Z also, Okay, 0.5 will be left here, 0.5 will be left on the face, 0.5 will be left here, 0.5 will be left here. That means 0.5 will be removed first here and this will be actually, actually it is 30. After rough turning it will be 29.5. After rough turning here, it is actually this distance is 60 from here. After rough turning it will be actually 59.5 and this is totally 90, no? After rough turning this is actually 89.5. This 0.5 will be removed in Z direction. This 0.5 here, 0.5 here, 0.5 here will be removed during finish turning. And at the same time, 0.5 will be removed on X also, on the diameter also, on X also. That is 91 will become 90, 61 will become 60 and 31 will become 30. These things I have already shown you. This I am telling you, I have already shown you this demo. I'll be showing you again up till here you're done already okay see here this is 90 this is uh, 60 this is 30 during rough turning this will be 60 uh, 91 this will be 61 this will be 31 and this distance this will be 0.5 anyway will be left here and there will be this will be 29.5 and this will be 59.5 this will be 89.5 that means 0.5 will be removed during Z, that is during finishing. And during finish turning, 0.5 will be removed on Z and 0.5 will be removed on X. So that this 61 will become 60. Uh, this 91, sorry, this 91 will become 90. 61 will become 60. 31 will become 30. Okay. Now you can, I'll show you the demo again. For showing the demo, no, you you just click on the simulate machining. Simulate machining and just have to wait. This I told you already. I'm showing you the demo again. All possible things I'll show you now. Okay. And you just have to wait till this is actuated. Simulate machining, I have just gone. This is 3D simulation. 3D simulation, which you have to show it in the any examination and all that. You have to show it to the examination, examiner. But at the same time, you should know how exactly to explain. Now this is the thing and you know, say, can you see here, this dynamic is there. If you can see isometric, it will make isometric. Or if you can uh, 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 pressing the right button, you can push it to any angle. Okay. Okay. Now see here, speed control is here. I'll make the speed control minimum and say here, see here, play is here. If you see here, this, if you play this, the simulation is done here. Okay. Okay, if you want to increase the speed of simulation, just increase it. Now, I'm. this is cutting on the face. Okay, now you see here, this is cutting on the face. And this is cutting on the, that is, OD is turning. This is cutting on the face. It is cut in such a way that finally 0.5 will be left over here. Okay, this I'll show you in the another, demonstra another demonstration. Okay. using the lost button, 
you can change it to any angle. You see here, if you want the simulation to be faster, see here, now it is this. This all rough turning. Rough turning, you understand, it is 90 means 91 will be there. During finishing, the remaining thing will be done. See here, I will be showing you just to clearly understand. Now you see here, this will be after rough turning, this is 91. That uh, 0.5 will be removed during finishing. Okay, this is 91 right now. Please understand, this is 91. Okay, now it is going on uh, doing for 60. This is after doing, it will be 61. Just see. See, this is cutting now. Every time it cuts, says cut increment is 1 mm, no? Every time the diametrical reduction will be 2. That means 90 to 60 means 15 times it would have done. Okay, in that way. Anyway, these things you please think over. Okay, if this is depth of cut is 1 mm, cut increment is 1. In that way, 2 mm diametrically it reduces. Now, this will be 61. This will be 91. Now, it is going on doing, still this becomes 31. And this is already 0.5 is left. During finishing, this, this distance actually is 30. 29.5 it would have done. It will be 30. This is 59.5, it will be 60. This will be 89.5, it will be 90. Now, see here, now it is doing the finishing. It is doing the finishing. It, it removes, as you see here, it removes clearly that alliance that is 0.5 here. And this 61, this 31 will become 30. This is 29.5, that becomes 30 here. And at the same time, this will be 61. That becomes 60 during finish turning. And this distance is actually 59.5. That becomes 60. Okay. And this is 91. And during finishing, this becomes 90. And this distance actually, as you know, it is 59.5. It becomes 60 during finishing. Finishing and rough, rough turning, both you are done. And during the output, rough turning, finish turning is output, everything you got. Okay. Now, if you see here, if you do this, okay, if you do this, you get back this. If you do this, whatever we have done, you get it. Okay. And this you should know. Okay. If you want to do again, if you click on this, you can do the simulation again. Okay. You can do the simulation again and all that. Did you understand? Here, if you want to redo, do this and do this again. Okay. And if you do this, the previous simulation, whatever I got, you will get it. Okay, in that way you, you can do this. In that way you do this and uh, speed of simulation and all that is here. You can uh, see here, this speed of simulation, you can control it. Fast or slow is controlled here. Okay, now you come out of this. Come out of this. Now, another very important simulation I'll show you now. See here, this, see here, we have turning tool, rough turning, that is for facing it as, turning tool, rough turning, that is for outer OD. Okay. Then turning tool, that is finishing tool for finished turning, we have done. These are all the things, all sequences you would have got here. Now you see here, this is one very important thing, what you should see. Simulation mode you go. Okay, when you go to simulation mode, okay, simulation speed, let us say we have 30. Okay, you keep some 30 here, simulation speed 30, you have it. Okay, just say okay. Okay, once you say okay, now you see here, be careful here, I will go for tracking also. Now you see here, while the time you come here, it will be 0.5. You keep seeing Z, it will be 0.5 will be left here. Here, carefully see here. Once it is 0.5, it will shift over. See here, 0.5, it will shift. Okay, then it will be doing this. Now, when you are doing this, you keep observing X. This point will be 91 because 0.5, 0.5 alliance is there. This you keep looking at X. Okay, X will be... 91, you just see, see here, 91. Okay, that means every time it turns, since uh, 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 the cut increment is 1 mm, every time it decreases the diameter by 2 mm. See here, 78, 76, 74, in that way. By the time it comes here, it slowly it adjusts in such a way that this will be 61, you see. This uh, X you keep observing, X will be 61. See here, X will be 61. In the same way, it does in the same way. You see a 52, 50, 48. That means since cut increment is 1, diametrically it reduces by 2 mm. That you should be watching carefully. See here, this will be x31. Ah, see here, x31. Now the finished turning. Finished turning, you see. Beautifully it is going. All will be 
X30, X60, X90, this also Z30, Z60, Z90. In that way, beautifully, this uh, simulation and tracking that is using the simulation mode, you can do this. Now you see here, once you've done all this, immediately file, save as, save as on desktop, you just give the name. Gurudat, chapter name, something, you give your name. Gurudat, chapter name, in that way, you give that name. Okay, it is saved on the desktop. Anytime you can open it. Okay, you just do this. Okay, now you see here, once you've done this, the important thing I've told you, the important thing of any CAP software is generation of CNC codes. This is very, very important. Manual port programming can be done only for limited, limited uh, uh, that is, uh, objects. Uh, that means limited profiles. If the profile is complex, it is very difficult to do the, uh, uh, that is, uh, manual part programming. Under such circumstances, we depend on this HCAM, MasterCAM, UG and all that, Unigraphics and all that. Now, how this has generated, you see, this program has generated, this uh, HCAM has generated the profile for you, that is, uh, GNDM codes for you. Just click on, uh, that is, uh, NC code. Just uh, take the defaults. Okay, you say. Just say, okay, programmer's name, you can give program number also, you can give program description also, you give, just for your understanding purpose, you give everything. Okay, now you see here, you see here, beautifully it has written the program. See here, this G8 is, these things under done, you see the my, my, my explanations under manual part programming. U.5, W.5 means on X, alliance of 0.5, on Z, alliance of 0.5 left. That is between 120 and 140, P120 and Q140 is the, uh, that is the, uh, that is, uh, uh, that is program numbers, 120, Q140 and all that. Feed is 0 0.2. See here, this 0, feed for 0 0.2. See carefully, feed is that uh, 0.2 mm per revolution and all that. Now, if you carefully observe here, see here, U.5, W.5, 240 to 300. X30, Z minus 30, X60, Z minus 60, X90, Z minus 90. This is the rough turning. Okay. This is the rough turning. This is the rough turning, finish turning procedures. Everything is here. As you see here, U.5, W.5. And if you observe here, this uh, uh, X30, Z minus 30, X60, Z minus 30, X90, Z minus 90. This is rough turning code. Okay, if you do, by doing this, you have an alliance left on X and Z, that is 0.5 and 0.5. Okay, 0.5 and 0.5. Then when you come here, you see here, here, this is U.5, W.5. And if you come here, it is X0 and Z0. That means X30, Z minus 30, X60, Z minus 60, X90, Z minus 30. That is alliance on X is 0. Alliance on Z is 0. This is what I wanted. The entire program, it has clearly written. Now what you have to do is, you just have to copy this program and paste it in any CNC machine. And if you run it, you are getting the same profile. Same profile on the any workpiece. Whether it's a mild steel workpiece or aluminum workpiece, you are getting this. This you should clearly know what exactly is the code. This code, please understand, this is all important to us. The generation of G and Dev codes here U.5 W.5 is the rough turning, and if you come come somewhere down, U that is U.5 W.5 is the thing, and uh, in between U0 and W0 you get that I have told you already. Okay, if you look at that U.5 W.5. And X0 and Z0, you see here. If looking at this, that means alliance on X is 0, alliance on Z is 0, and the finish turning is done. Okay, now I have clearly explained how things have to be done, how to generate a GNDEP course. Thank you very much, friends, for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you.